Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. What time is it? I tell you what time it is. It is time to share the word of God with somebody. It is time to share the love of God with somebody. When last did you do that? When last have you shown anybody that your father so loved you that he gave his only begotten son that you shouldn't perish? And that, that same grace he extended to you, he extends to somebody else. And he actually ex expects you that has found out about it to tell somebody else about it. When last did you do that? Do you know that that's one of the things that pleases the Father the most? When you share your faith, that is basically your, your giving. You're giving of what you've been given. You're letting others know. You're setting them free by giving them knowledge. You remember the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. If they don't hear, if you remember in Isaiah, he talks about who had believed our report. And uh, uh, later, <coughs> excuse me, further down in scripture, he tells us, says, who shall we send? Later on, he also says that the, the, the word has been sp spoken. Did they believe our report? Did they believe our word? If you don't tell somebody, that is, you have not told them the word, they can't have faith, they cannot have confidence to believe God that Jesus has died for their sins. So you've got to tell them. He says, go into all the world and preach the gospel. When last did you do that? I'm not here to teach today. I'm just here to enjoin you. Go forth and preach this gospel. Tell somebody that God loves them. God loved them so much that he sent his son to die in their stead. We know as human beings that we missed it. We've missed it. We don't even need anybody to tell us that we are sinners and we missed it. But rather, we, 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 are all, we always want to hear about solutions. If you go and tell a man about the solution to his problem, he knows there's a problem. But you know, let him know that there's a solution to that problem. My goodness, he will jump at it. Your duty is the ministry of reconciliation. Go and tell them that God is no longer angry with the world because he has provided the solution to that problem. And what's that solution? The man, Jesus Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ. All he asks of you is to accept that sacrifice which he has done on your behalf. And you are good. When you accept it, Almighty God recreates your heart, quickens your heart and comes to live in your heart. Not as if he comes to visit, he comes to live in your heart and bless you. Do this and let him bless you tremendously in Jesus' name. Amen.